La Mulana! Mausoleum of the Giants! Heaven's Room! Hey guys, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more La Mulana. In the last episode, we got a whole bunch of stuff done here in the Mausoleum of the Giants, and in this episode, we are going to face off against the boss. But first, we need to bring out the moon. So we are going to hit some stuff, and then leave to reset the room back to its neutral configuration, as opposed to all suns. And then we are going to do that. And now that the moon is out, we can finally go this way and see what's up over here. Now, this next boss is immune to sub-weapons, so you're definitely going to want to have the knife and as many life tools as possible. He is hard. As you can see, the Ankh is here on the giant's hand, so we're going to use our Ankh jewel. And get ready to fight the boss. Meet Socket! He is the youngest giant. He is one of the four who did not want the mother to return to the sky. And so he is going to fight us. His weak point is his head, but obviously with his arm and stuff in a way, we cannot reach his head. We want to wait for him to use one attack in particular. And you want to stay on the ladder, and preferably below the uh, this, these ledges here. When the guy shoots his arm at you, you want to stab him in the face. And then get ready to jump off his arm when it's about to retract. I am fighting with a major disadvantage here because Cam Studio is causing the graphics to glitch out a lot. I don't know if it shows up in the video, but it is. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it is going to hinder me greatly in my attempt to combat this boss, so yeah. Oof. I don't know if you saw that there, but both times I failed to uh, get away from him in time. As you can see, when he walks, he uh, makes these rocks fall. That's why you want to hang out below the ledge, so they will, s so the rocks will split and not hit you on their way down. Of course, that that just makes you vulnerable to this stuff here, where he's shooting with things at you. I'm not going to make it to him in time. Yeah, I died. <sighs> okay, once more with feeling. So, rule of thumb, when he's close to you, stay on the ground. When he's far away, get on the ladder. That'll make it the easiest to dodge his attacks. Whoa. Unless he does something stupid like that. Yeah, right when he dislodges his hand from the ground, that's when you want to jump. So I have to wonder if these statues are actually the giants themselves, or if they're just 
the robotic mechanical thing statues of the giants. You really gotta wonder. Also, I love this song. This is like one of the best boss scenes in a game, and this game has some pretty awesome boss scenes, I gotta say. Also, you'll be expecting to hear a... Mm, nah, I'll leave that for later. Anyway, just throw out your, throw out your rocket mecha punch thing already so I can stab you. Whoa. Got away just in time there. Yeah, again, I apologize for the glitchy video if it is there. That's just how... Cam Studio works with La Mulana, and it is the only recording software I have that I have access to. So yeah, oops. Okay, yeah, you want to get out of the way of his feet. You kick, being kicked by a giant hurts, obviously. Got him. There's the little eye fairy thing again. And with that, we have cleared out Mausoleum of the Giants. Now it is time to get along to do other things. Our first order of business is going down this way. Just to open up a shortcut for later. We will want to have the... Ruins, Ram, and Glyph Reader activated. This is another late game area that we can actually get to early in the game, but we will not be coming back here for a long time once we've done what we need to do. It's just one of those things, you know? Ow. The heck? Also, this is yet another example of awesome La Milana music. Seriously, I love the music in this game. Anyway, there's our next ROM video hustler. And this is the Endless Corridor, a path that goes on forever. Ah, you're a human. I'm a fairy that lives in these ruins. Four sages told me to help any humans that came here. So, I've been waiting here. My friends and I will help you out. Let's decide on some sort of symbol so that my friends will recognize you. Eh? That's an interesting thing we got there. It's called a ROM, isn't it? It's called a ROM, is it? I'll tell everyone that's our symbol. Come back here when you have a suitable ROM for us. It just so happens that we can go out and buy this ROM that they're looking for now. It's in the Temple of the Sun. But before we do that, we want to do something here. As you can see, if you leave off the left edge of this screen and then come back, you will get the map. As you can see, this place isn't really endless at all. It's uh, 20 screens, but we cannot get below the very top of this place right now, so we won't be able to do that. Anyway, back to the Temple of the Sun. There are some things that we are going to want to do here. Starting, I believe, with examining that skeleton down there for another ROM. Die, Sonic. Yes, Yai are Kung Fu. Now we are going to want to jump down here, real quick. And that pot down there hides a shop. Oof. Ugh. Come on, I do not want to die here. Ah, my first customer in 5,000 years! 
A heat proof case. Diviner sensation. That's what we came here for. Oh, that's cute. Let's use that diviner sensation ROM as a symbol. Equip that when you need our help. Me and my friends will be waiting for you in the ruins. Okay. Now back to Giant's Mausoleum to get some stuff done. Now, I have—I actually have a thing in my guide here that I'm not 100% certain how I'm supposed to get it. I believe I, I will get it in this next area I'm going to, but I'm not entirely sure. So I want to go check that. So if it's not where I think it is, I am going to go check that out. Oh. Assuming I don't die on the way there. You know, it would be nice if I could get an experience refill, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. No. Okay, yeah, I am definitely going back to the surface now. Uh, see you guys back over there. Okay, I'm back. And here we are back in the... Wow, that was a pretty good jump for a dark night, I gotta say. <laughs> Alright, this is a very late game area, but we need to come here now because there are some things that we need to buy. These statues here, they will be getting in our way for a while now. Or at least the twins. Yeah, this is a place called the Twin Labyrinths. It is a... possibly the most confusing dungeon in... I uh, it's possibly the most confusing area in the game, besides a certain other area, which we'll be getting to later, and you'll probably already know what it is, if you've played this game before. But for those of you who don't know, I'm not going to spoil it, so, yeah. As you can see, the bats here have really weird faces. Anyway, that's a ROM for Pennant Race. The red ROMs, by the way, are MSX2 only. They will not work on the NSX. So just a little tidbit there. Oh. Alright, there are two things we want here. The first is the helmet. This will allow us to pass through waterfalls. The second is the scanner, which is actually fa a fake scanner, but we will need to use it for something later on. What it actually does is it opens a shop here. I believe this is the right shot. Yes! This is a dragon bone. Now, with the dragon bone, we can get into the lair of the final boss, but she will not be there because... Yes, spoilers, the boss is a girl, sort of. We will not be able to get there because, well... We need to kill all the bosses first, and then we have to summon her. So yeah, that's something we're not going to be able to do for a while. Alright, now we've done that, I believe we want to warp back to the Guidance Gate, and... Head on up to area number 4. The Twin Labyrinths is area number 7, and... And the, uh... Endless Corridor is Area 8, just letting you guys know that. Anyway, we are going to be going up to Area Number 4, and... Actually, if you look at these plates here, these are actually, uh... Numbers for... Oh, what, that statue thought he could shoot at me as I was climbing the ladder, huh? It's kind of jerkish of him. Anyway, we want to... Watch out for these fish guys and whoa, 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 water, 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 water. Yes, this is one of the most dangerous areas in the game until you get the item that lets you swim. Then it's the safest area in the game, go figure. Anyway, what we want to do is actually, I believe we want to scan that underwater skeleton there. 
and pray that we do not die. Yes, game collection one. No, 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 yes! But we are going to want to save. Fortunately, the place where we were just at isn't too far a walk from the uh, guidance gate, so I will see you guys back there. Actually, now that I think about it, we've pretty much hit the recording time limit that I usually set for my videos, so we're just going to do one thing here, and that'll be it. No! Ah. Yes, jumping over both of those waterfalls will uh, open up the treasure chest containing the map for this area. Try to go under the waterfall, they just get swept away. I had some sort of helmet I might be able to get that in. Alright. So, I guess I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. See you then.